All right. Madden, you guys have been on fire throughout the Challenger stage 3-0. How does it feel? Yeah, I mean, it feels great, but the job is not over, so we need to focus on Legend stage and hopefully make it play. Yeah. And Bad News Eagles are your opponents coming into this one. You've only faced them four times in the, your history. But, uh, do you have any expectations for this match? I mean, I don't know. Last four times when we played against them, we beat them all four times and we feel pretty confident against them. But they're kind of like, um, in a way, how to say it's hard to play against them but because they're in a way maybe a bit random and hard to predict in a way. They have a lot of uh, individual firepower, but they're just playing uh, on the fly, how to say it. And uh, in best of fun, it can be hard and we will just do our best to keep calm and we will see what happens. And Snappy's calling has been praised universally by people uh, throughout this major. How do you feel he calls and what does it feel like being a player in his system right now? I mean, he's a type of IGL who gives a lot of space to his teammates, especially he gave a lot of space to Nerds since he's new to the team and um, he's letting him do a lot of things he's confident with to make him confident. And uh, I think it's just uh, pretty easy to play with him as an IGL overall. And giving you space, is that something that you also feel for yourself? Because you've been a top performer too, friends. I mean, before heading into this tournament, I feel like uh, I've been more of a guy who didn't do much plays because, uh, as I said, now Nerds and Sampais joined the team and uh, I think we were focused uh, kind of a lot on them and uh, I was the guy just in the back doing nothing. So I think coming into this major, we... We changed a bit and uh, now, I'm, now I'm also doing a little bit of the plays that I like to do and I think it uh, showed up on the server. Yeah, and you certainly did show up on the server because you've been nominated to be one of the top five players of the Challenger stage. How does that feel? I mean, for sure it feels great. Obviously, I don't think I was the MVP of Challenger stage. The people performed way better, some of them. But uh, just having a good uh, statistics for me as an individual is just... I feel great and I'm coming into this legend stage with more confidence, of course, because uh, before this major, I feel like I didn't, didn't perform good individually. So this is just kind of like self-confidence. And just to look at this match and round things off, you, you talked about confidence now. How important is it that the whole team shows up in this match? Uh, for sure, in this match and the next match today, I feel like if we start 2-0, we will get even more confidence because, as I said, the best of fans are pretty random in a way and if we go through them uh, nicely, I think we will get a lot of confidence maybe going into the playoff. Thank you so much, man. Three majors in a row for Bad News Eagles, three times legend status. What does it feel like coming into Paris right now? Um, it's... It's a much better feeling this time. Uh, it's already the third time we're making it to the legend stage. First two times we didn't really make it to the champion stage, but this time is definitely our uh, goal to make it to the champion stage. And I feel like we're prepared enough and uh, we can actually do it. You say you hope you're prepared enough and your goal is to make it to the champions because for those out there that don't know, you've only had one win, but six losses throughout your previous majors. How, uh, how will this one defer? Um, I feel like every loss prepares you for the uh, next event, next journey, next steps that you take in your journey, whatever. So uh, I feel like those six losses in the legend stage that we previously had uh, made us uh, work a lot harder, uh, realize our mistakes, give us a chance to fix them, see what is going wrong. And uh, I feel like we, we prepared enough this time to make it to the champion stage. So yeah. But looking at your first opponent, it's Ents. They went 3-0 throughout the challengers. Now you guys are just coming in fresh. You know, first game of, uh, of the Paris Major for you guys. Is that going to be a, a hindrance for you? Um, I'm not sure about it because uh, we've just been to Australia. We also had the LAN event in there. So um, we have been playing lately LAN like a week or two weeks ago. And also we had the boot camp. Uh, I feel like we're pretty familiar with the, the atmosphere and the everything. Yeah. And what's going to be the toughest part about facing Ents right now? Do you have anything that you've been focusing on neutralizing or something? Um, we've lost to them like three or four times in a row already, and uh, we just want to make that change, definitely. <laughs> and what's, what's the key to victory for Bad News Eagles? Because you guys, you have a lot of team chemistry, a kind of unique atmosphere, I would say. 
If we're having our day, like a good shooting day, good communication day, like whenever we're having that good communication uh, throughout the team, we're always performing a lot more better. Like sometimes it feels like we play much better than some tier one teams. But uh, when the communication drops, that's where we struggle a little bit. But um, I feel like we're fresh. Communication is on point. Practice is going well. And um, we only have left to see what we're going to do. Thank you so much. Thank you. Immediately, and a fast pistol round to begin. Bad News Eagles run straight up ramp. They've got the staging platform now for this site take. And it's oh, on to open. Oh, GXX adds another to the tally. Sampaius getting boxed in here. Has to shut them out with this USP. They're going to start to get closer, and he will get run down. Flatro to find him. Some pious now dead, and it's going to come down to two. Four ends. Yeah, a lot of space in the site. Flatro will just sit back on default, make them come to him, and this is a great one and done position. Julie's will overwhelm him. No kit right now for Ents either, so clock is ticking quick, and Deha needs to move back in. He's all the stats on the three, and it's unwinnable. He's been finished. We'll try and take them down with him, but no surviving this bomb. Oh, he's really making it work there. Ooh, one more, no scenario will end it. So that's BNE with the pistol. Always meant to be off of those entries. They come back in with the heat over towards Ram. Oh, Snappy tries to play around this Molly Smoke combo. Ends up getting locked out by Regan. We'll get deep. Madden is clean with it. Nerds adds another to the tally. Over in mid, GXX is dealt with. On Flatro leading the charge out through ramp. There is this flank coming in behind them that Nerds is embarking upon. That nade finds good damage onto Sineri as well. This is a round that Ents are vying for, and they've got a good chance in. That follow-up kill only strengthens their position. Flatro's got to do it alone. 1v3, oh. and he is overran, overwhelmed. Diha locks him out, and so Ents are competitive from the get-go with their force buy. That's what you want to see from Ents, right? But going back up is high risk. They'll look onwards and upwards. Snappy sees them coming through the gap in the yellow. That's a nice kill. Can he get a multi? Oh, out of ammo. How's he still alive and kicking? He's kicking them all right. Lots of damage to Synopsy. Takes two. Madden's still alive on the A side. He's got cover. That wallbag is very close. The Ents don't believe there's a flank. They know everyone's here. They'll commit with their, with their rotates. This is scary for Nerds. And he will fall, giving away in. You hope this doesn't come back to haunt you. Diha tucking himself in, but he's the man with health. He needs to get this first kill, and he's going to go unchecked. With that, that should be the round. Synopsis just too low, and Diha will finish the job that Snappy started. Ends on to a second, and even though it comes down to the wire, there was a moment where it looked like Bad News Eagles were going to grind away back into that round. Oh, he doesn't get spammed either. Oh, swings off of timing. GXX hits his orb shots. And BNE are welcomed into A. Oh, man, spotted getting up on top of this, but still gets out with one. They haven't even hit him yet. The earlier nade damage onto Sineri and Juan Flatro leaves them both low here. GXX lands the tag, but that needed to be the killing blow. But Sineri now dead as well, and this double short side setup for Ents being employed. It's all hinging on this fight, and with GXX dealt with. This is an Ents round all day long. On Flatro is even getting flanked up the ramp, and so he should be dead on this angle. Spotted by Nerds. Ents keep it clean in that return to rifles. That's a bit of a disaster for the Bad News Eagles. Because of how favorable those that, that heavy A and the heavy B spawn are, you're often going to get gifted that first pick if the T's are playing pacey rounds. Good Molotov. With the spam from Synopsy, Snappy burns alive. Rigon gets an entry, but Nerds still here on the site with something to say. There's one. Ooh. I'll take it any further. Sineri with the trade. A 3v2. These are the rounds that Bad News Eagles have got to convert. These are the rounds that you've got to find. Diha is still in the picture, and some pious pushes up to short and takes some serious real estate here with ready. the AWP. They shouldn't be prepared for this. They've already dealt with a short man. So 
And some pious is a nasty surprise, and suddenly that man advantage is gone. You're back in to a 2v2. DXX sees that smoke. That might just be an invitation to try walk through it. Really want to try and deny this short orb. Some pious doesn't know where to look, and one Flatro will find him. Diha, 1v2. His teammate removed, has the chance to make it a 1v1. Whiffs the spray, now down to the Deagle. A hope and a prayer for Diha as he spams the smoke. One Flatro goes up and over to bring the fight to him. And that's Bar News Eagles breaking the five round streak and getting their first on the board in a while. And Ents will concede. This boost with no surprise. I've seen it a couple already. Oh, Snappy's one out another fight. Oh. Nice return from GXX. And there's one Flatro boosted up by Saneri to get that opening pick at B. Now, Nertz is still here to reinforce, but Saneri deals with him quickly. Some pious flashing. Oh, sorry, flashed off the angle. Has this rotate of Madden in through middle. They're both here, right place, right time, but smoke in the way. Madden looking for a route over the top of this. He'll win his fight. Saneri now out of the round. More follow-up oh, damage no. onto GXX, so but he lives to fight another day. One man up close in the smoke. They don't know about Flatro. They don't know that he's here. Some pious has got to keep his wits about him if he wants to attempt this 1v2. And he decides it's too far gone, or is he just trying to bait a fight here? Gets it down to the 1v1. He encourages that chase, and that spurred him on to want to give the round one more look in. One more try. GXX misses that shot with the AWP. And some Pius is closing the distance. Oh, he's going to try oh, and close, yeah. and he can't do it. GXX holds the line down. And it's Bad News Eagles with a third. That was right there for the taking for some Pius. Go a second earlier on that pre-fire. He's going to catch GXX going wide. But GXX bammed out on his default plant, and his teammate couldn't even help. He was smoked off a cold. Gets this crucial trade on Snappy after a double entry on A. That's a 5v3 for Ents. They can't close. No! Hit some big orb shots. No! And that one hurts. Flashes stream over B, but this mid fight is still won out by Nerds. Oh, that's awkward. It's ugly. D is still alive. Sineri's quick to make up for it. Sineri's on a tear! Three in the round! And he might still have to give even more here. Sineri doing all he can. Oh. Four kills. On for the yeah. ace. And there it is. Sineri makes him sing. My goodness. What a way to find that round. And it was required as well. He wasn't just farming anti-ecos. That is a round that is rapidly getting out of hand. It's the sweat off at the end of it and all. Galil as well. Not even AK into that four spy. He just takes them out one by one. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful shooting, and you can't hate these guys. Like when you see them and the energy they bring. Leave some pious to hold middle. Can sometimes be a bit weird. And slipping into the position you've not really been playing throughout this first half. Nerds is kind of the guy with a great idea as to how they've been approaching this part of the map. Sineri willing to throw his life away to try to tee his teammates up for the trade. They will start to filter through, but are they ready for Madden? He's made noise. They've got him pinned in. There's more here. And Madden holds the line with one. Eventually overran. It is a brawl for this mid control. And Nerds has gone all the way around, back up the ramp to try and flank this A site. They've got to be ready for anything, and they will go for the safe plant for CT, set up for GXS to clutch. But moving off the plant is a different story. Nerds won't allow it, and he's got a nade as well. Four health, reposition, GXX just getting tucked in. They're an elevator. He's looking the wrong way. And the molly, that should decide it. Nade on top. It's a wombo combo to get Ents back on the board. I actually love that round for, for B&E, just getting the quick mid-pick. Oh, been smoked. Oh, there it is. Snappy checks it out from Con. Oof. A little awkward. Blocks that flash, but just going to lob another one out now. Selling the mid-take at least. One Flatro trying to use this, and Regon extends the advantage even further. Diha is meant to be the nasty surprise, the final boss at the end of this round, but he has to spring the trap card early. Now they know about him on the run out from behind Quad. He tucks himself in at default. Looking to try, take oh. a fight. Turns the tide of this round. Him and Madden are both just getting whittled down. 
till they're eventually finished off. Madden trying to make a hero play. He's low on health, so something big's got to come from this smoke push. Right up close to it. They're not looking at him yet. No. He does tap out Synopsy. Says, spanning through it, Sineri to find it, and now some pious 1v2. Was given a chance on the jump across, but had to oh. quick with it. He is first kill found. Tag on a GXX. They can never seem to find him in a default, but some pious will wins that 1v2 and secures the lead for Ents in doing so. What a time for him to arrive and step up. GXX, poor guy, just keeps getting trapped on default B with the AWP and getting wall banged. Can't get out for free, and those are some swift shots. You're not ready for anyone on double box after seeing them jump across from it. Sampai is very clutch AWPer. No! And a, a hyper important round for Ents to not get swept on this yet this game. It's still gonna flash a wall. I don't hear it though. You're hoping that impacts with it. They've got their eyes on it though, and they're still going to hit that shot. Still a 1v3 for Sineri. He can get a plant, but they might just rush him down off the audio with a time this low. He's out of options. He's out of chances, but he's been given oh. 1v1s. Oh, the bomb out. They rush him down. Ents. It gets scary for a second, but everyone commits to that hunt. And they live and die by it. Round and half won by Ents. But it is still to break through another B-hold. They've done it before. Oh, the smokes. Let Flatro cross out deep, deeper than Enzo ready for. Tapping away with the Tech 9, but it's not the best angle for him. And there's Nertz to respond, taking it one step further. Enz, two kills away from a 9 6 half here. They've just got to seal the deal. Synopsy, a couple of misses. Running low on ammo in the Deagle, and there's some pious to put a stop to it. It's 9 6 for Ents when all is said and done. B split. D her down below. Four players in middle. No nades in the pistol for Ents. They just dry run it out middle. Steps are hurt now. Sonero needs something. He's being pinched between two, and he doesn't know where to look. Flash rope falls, but he at least pulls a couple with him. There is no kit in this round. A retake will not be easy, so they cannot wait. In they run. Oh! Synopsy is like a big decoy right now. And the dual Berettas oh. will find the last couple of kills. <laughs> he even gives a little head tilt. It's a, it's a good way for uh, for that pistol to go for the Bad News Eagles, right? It could have been so much worse. Flatro taking a couple to the grave with him. This is unbelievable. Who clears this? He's going to let them all pass. One by one, he waits for his time to strike the flat. Oh. It absolutely sends him if he kept shooting. He would have taken Diha too. No way Ents are going to turn that around. Yeah, I felt like he got spooked at like how deep they were and just tries to react straight away. But yeah, it... so, I don't think I've ever seen anyone play there that early in the round. Oh, meaty kills in middle. The run and gun on the MP7 does it. And Ents, they did what they did in the first half. Lose pistol, win force, all by design. Instead, it's Ents picking up where they left off. Same start to this second half as the first. And, you know, we talk about the teams we expect to be in the playoffs, and we obviously have our top five, and we have our pretty clear favorites, but Ents are right there. Ents are on the cusp, and right now, Ents are proving Ooh. themselves. Sineri holds the fort. He is stuck out right now, and he's even going to get TK'd by Rigon. Not ideal, considering they just removed some pious, but let's pounce from behind. Oh, he was going for a gun. And that will be easily done by Ents in the 2v2. Closed. Helped out with a team kill. BNE have to stay on kilter and not tilt at this point. Phase. Um, everyone, everyone can perform. There's no weak player. Even the captain is known for putting on big games. And there he goes, leading the fray. Sprayed down in middle by GXX on a very tight angle. Good control of the A4. And BNE, you said they had to win this round to stay in the game. Well, right now they're good for it. Some pious in a 1v3. This 1v2. They hear the plant now, but it's not like they can react quickly. GXX might be here already, but his teammates a long way out. Flatro's having to start that rotation over from B. Some pious is given a lot of room. Gonna tuck in and play around the bomb. They've not given him any fights, but that molly perfectly plays, forces a swing, nice. and GXX locks him out of the clutch. Not this time, some pious. They put a stop to it. Over towards B in the right place. 
got the read, they've got the position, they just need to hold back the coming tide events. Oh, the jump up is perfect, three to the flash as well, then d -hook collapses upon Synopsy. There's a bit of a bubble here for Flatro to play behind the smoke, but they're going to cross in. They know he's in position. They found another entry, 4v2. Flatro swings, and he does hit the mark with a double kill, but the orb fires back 10 seconds. Can GXX deny this stick? Maybe he can. Ooh. Missed shot. Sunfire's getting covered, but not for long. It's vengeance here from GXX in the 1v1. They both miss, and the oh. no scope connects. Nine rounds, day saved, and GXX delivers desserts. That's beautiful for GXX and so poetic as well. 1v1, he gets his revenge versus some pious no less. The man who uprooted them with that 1v2 to close out round 15 is the one to fall and start to give oh. Bad News Eagles a way back in. GXX didn't even get on the bomb. He just, he had, he had like his finishing move moment. Yeah. They want ends, but right now, they're the ones spraying the ectoplasm. 13 to 9 and 5 and 4 on an anti eco. Back for more Rigon. My goodness. Unrelenting and for reasons. Three on two, though. And still have this mid luck and they're holding for this backstab. Snary planes contain. And Madden going first means he's just dead. It's no way. Oh, Snary had to. Give it a go at least. Flatro knows his gun's on offer. That molly only confirms what he already expects. Not the gun he wanted either. There it is. He can just wait for him to cross on in to his crosshair. And he'll do exactly that. Nerds, nice and easy from the spawn. Ents on to 14. And the money is gone for Bad News Eagles. It's this molly retrieved by Rigon. Waiting to use the perfect time. But he is on his own. Oh, Nerds oh, runs through. through the molly. Crazy. And Regon, that is the last thing you expect there. He really tried to time that molly perfectly. It's too late. And Nerds didn't respect it. The nades rain in, but they missed their timing. And so Ents in a 4v4 post. Not even feeling the pressure to swing or get involved here. They can wait for Bad News Eagles to get caught out, and that's what they'll do. They snatch each and every one of them from the round. GXX left in it alone in the 1v4. And Nerds deletes him, ends up onto match point. So can they deserve it? Do they earn it? Or is it dead in the water? Seems like Ents may be here on time. Nerds has been finding impact on these mid lurks, but this is not one of those rounds. Sineri knocks him out and suddenly are restricted to a very small portion of the map. It's just up through a ramp for one of these A players, but look at where Madden wow. is. <laughs> look at how he's done this. That was up through That's short, quick. through the smoke. That's how he's hit such a wild timing that no one on B&E was ready for. He's got to check everything. And the last man waiting back in spawn will oh. get caught. Madden flicked upon by Sineri. Molly's going to okay. force a swing out from the sandbag. Oh, He's got to oh, capitalize, yeah. and he can't quite find it. Ents lock it in, and they find success to open up their run in the legend stage, keeping composed against the Bad News Eagles that had momentum in the middle of this matchup, had the momentum going their way when they went on that streak early in the first half. But they lock him out. They start dominating in the clutches. Yeah, thank you guys. Snappy, still undefeated here at the Blast TV Paris Major. How does that feel? It feels good. Um, it's a new stage, so we are kind of reset from the other stage. It's a new tournament now, um, but I'm happy we got off to a good start. It was a little bit shaky at times, but uh, we got a pretty convincing win in the end anyway. Yeah, because uh, Vertigo kind of went a few rounds were a little scrappy, but it seemed like you guys had things under control here in the second half. But bad news, Eagles. All of the times that you've faced them, you've never lost. Was that just a part of the preparation phase? Mm, I don't know. I think they play kind of a lot of chaotic CS, but I think it's hard to play chaotic CS against and So I think that's why they maybe struggle against us. And Madden, he, uh, he told us here in the pre-match interview that uh, you allow your players to give, uh, give them a little bit of freedom to move around. We saw that with Nerts a few times here, having a few roaming situations where he took uh, B&E by surprise. Can you explain more about that freedom? 
yeah, I mean, it's uh, like if you are responsible, you get freedom, and everyone in this team is responsible, so they are obviously allowed to do uh, the plays they like to do. Um, and we don't get mad if if they screw something up because at the end of the day, you cannot be afraid to play Counter Strike. And I think all of them did great today. I think my performance was a, was a bit iffy, uh, but all of the other guys here played super good. Yeah, and, and the, they did play super good. How easy is it to be an in game leader when they all pop off like that? I mean, today it was pretty easy, uh, considering uh, most of my players were performing at a high level, and I obviously hope it continues. All right. Well, we'll see if it does. Back to you guys, Harry and Hugo.